For this pattern I'm using Purcell's number 19 hot orange silk and again using a Partridge Ideal Standard dry fly hook and size 14. We come in and simply trap our tying silk in with three or four nice tight turns. before trimming off the end. And for the hackle we're using the feather taken from the back of a grey partridge which gives you this nice speckled effect. To prepare the hackle we just brush back those hackle fibres exposing the tip. And then we take our scissors and just shorten that tip section a little bit so it's uh, nice and manageable. To mount the hackle we just trap it between our, our thumb and the hook shank. Take two nice firm turns of silk just to trap it in there. Now for the rib we're going to use a fine gold wire. To mount the wire we bring it underneath the silk and just trap it down. And now taking our silk we come in tight touching turns down the hook shank to a point somewhere between the point of the hook and the end of the barb. Of course here I'm using a barbless hook so it's the rack of the eye. And now we take our silk again in tight touching turns back up the hook shank to a point just short of where we mounted in the wire. And now we rib the fly with nice, open, symmetrical turns of wire. Then bind down that rib with two nice firm turns of silk. before brushing the hackle and the wire out of the way and then we bring our silk back in front of the hackle before fretting off the wire or in this case use a, an old pair of scissors just to cut that wire rib. Now taking our hackle in our hackle pliers we just simply brush back those hackle fibres and take two or three nice firm wraps of hackle. It's entirely up to you how many wraps of hackle you want. I, I like generally two and a half to three to give the fly a bit more of a fuller look. Once you're happy with the hackle density, trap down that hackle stalk with two nice tight turns of silk. Come in with your scissors and trim off that hackle stalk and if you want you can now start to tidy up those stray hackle fibres. Now with your whip finish tool just simply take two or three nice turns of silk before binding it down. Give the silk a pull and there we are. Come in with your bodkin if you want and just simply fret those hackles back into a more vertical orientation. If you want of course you can varnish the head of the fly. And there we have, shall we say, a more modern version of the partridge and orange. 